a phrase I hear from from students so so often is uh, I know nothing. <laughs> It's so easy to say this, and it's something I think we, we all, you know, we all fall into the trap of doing, and I want us to be really, really, really careful about this. Uh, there's some underlying issues that I, I, I want you to be aware of that's not helping you with your studies. So this generally happens when I ask students to do questions, um, you know, to, to do more practice questions or to start doing questions. They, you know, they say, oh, I'm not ready, uh, I know nothing, or it happens when they've done a question and they haven't done very well in the question or they're not, you know, they're not there yet, uh, they're not passing the question, they're not doing as well as they want to, then they make the statement, I know nothing. Now, the problem with this, obviously, is that that's not really not the truth, but it creates a certain program in our head that makes us genuinely believe that I know nothing. The first thing it does is create a sense that studying uh, and learning is an all or nothing approach. You know, it's I'm either at 100% or I'm at zero. So this I call binary learning. Okay, it's either on or off. So we feel that our learning is either on or off. Either I know it or I don't. Now, as as perfectionists, we definitely see the world in a very binary way. I either know it or I don't. I either, you know, it's all or nothing. Uh, I must get it right first time. So we very much see learning as a switch. You know, it's on or off. And once I hear something for the first time, read through it, go through it, whatever, um, I should be able to flick that switch straight away from off or on. In reality, learning is very much a journey. Learning and studying is very much a journey.